So bear with me, I've never done this before, but I wanted to do a quick video of what I've been working on here with this plane. So this is <clears throat> B-17. This is my first attempt at trying to model something based on three view drawings. Built plenty of airplanes before, but I've never done this and kind of having fun with it. So anyway, plane is going to be, um, God, you know, it's funny. I haven't even measured the damn wingspan yet. I guessed that it would be around 75 inches. So let's just find out here. And five feet 10. Let's do the math. Not quite 72. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> here's the outside. Now, plane is a little bit bigger than your average plane built out of foam board. So um, I've kind of taken that into consideration by building the wing in it's actually in four separate sections, outer panels and then the inner panels. And then the fuse is actually in two separate pieces as well, joined by a doubler on the inside. And I'll get to that here in a sec. So anyway, I've built the nose or designed the nose such that it'll come apart to access battery and electronics. So I'm going to start stripping stuff off the plane here. Here is the cabin top. Now the cabin top and the nose is going to be one piece, but for the purposes of doing this, I have to kind of start exploding it. Uh, I've got formers throughout to hold everything together. Now let me start getting rid of some of these. Now this piece is in two sections. It's a nose bottom. If you look over on this side of the screen here, you can see as I, I kind of named everything. So the nose top, which shows my nose bottom, this whole piece slides off together as one unit exposing this. Let me just get rid of some more stuff here. So this is what I envision to be the battery tray. Now this is all one solid piece that goes all the way back to basically beyond this joint here. If you can see my cursor is where the two sections of the fuselage will be joined. So the doubler goes at, actually back beyond that to a former that I have back here. So let's continue getting rid of some stuff so I can show you that. So again, more formers, this whole cabin top here. Um, once that's gone, it exposes. You can start seeing how I kind of designed the fuselage here. It's a box on the bottom and then a top, which has some folds, pretty simple folds, I think. I guess I'll find out here shortly. Um, get rid of some more of these. I'm calling this section the mid fuselage sec fuselage section. And again, this from here on out is all going to be joined as one piece when we're all done. But again, I'm just kind of getting rid of pieces here to show you the inside. Okay, here you can see my, my uh, <clears throat> this is the fuse doubler on the inside here. Now, I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do yet, but I think I'm going to do like maybe a 16th inch ply doubler on top of that, uh, I've never done a wing like this with a foam plane, balsa planes all the time, but I'm not sure how these dowels are going to hold up in the foam. So I thought I'd put some thin ply in there just, just to keep it all together. Anyway, uh, let's go look at the back here real quick. So the way I've designed this fin, I didn't want the fin just attached to the top loosely. So if I get rid of this piece here, you can see how it goes through the top into the main fuselage portion and then uh, it basically interlocks into the stab so let's get rid of that nope oh, wrong button okay here's your stab one piece i'm thinking about actually running if i can find a piece of like maybe three is three sixteenth inch square uh carbon I will run a channel throughout the whole thing. I don't know. I've never built a foam plane this big before, so I'm not sure how strong that's going to be. I guess I'll find out. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of the fuselage here. I think you can, you've pretty much seen what the deal is with that. Let's go to the wing. Uh, let me just hide the whole darn thing here. Okay. So the wing, uh, first of all, let's see. Let me zoom in here. You've got three degrees of dihedral in the wing which is kind of, uh, kind of matches. Actually, I'm not even going to guess. I'm not sure what the real plane had, but yeah. All right. So, uh, if I start stripping pieces off the wing again, so the, uh, 
The wing is in four sections here. In order for me to build it, you'll see what I mean here. When I stretch out this center section, which is the top and bottom together, it basically takes up an entire piece of uh, foam board, the 20 by 30 foam board. So let's get rid of that hide. If I get rid of the top all together, whoops, too far. Ugh. Like I said, I'm an amateur at this. Okay, so revealing the inside of the wing here. Oh, and I revealed the side. So I went ahead. I thought I'd be cute and label some of these things, but um, everything's kind of a little bit backwards. So I have two main spars going down the entire wing. The intention is these will be built. Each one's going to be built in two pieces with a cut, say, here on the front and then here on the back. So that way it's one big, long piece. And then when I actually build the wing, I will join the inner and the outer together and then build it as this one whole kind of unit. And then I have a center spar here. And that center spar, um, my intention there is, zoom in, that goes straight across into the other wing. And although I haven't kind of designed it yet, I'm going to have a single piece that when I glue the wing together, it'll go across the front and the back just to kind of tie everything together. Um, yeah, the wheels in this thing are kind of big, and that's because I have a uh, grass runway, and I'm not lucky enough to have a uh, paved runway, so i got to put some bigger wheels on there. So the let's see, let's talk about the engines here real quick. Not positive which motors I'm going to use. I'm thinking a 2212, maybe 920 kV. Uh, since there's going to be four of them, I think there should be plenty of power. Maybe running an 8-inch prop. Right here, this is an 8-inch prop that you see on here now, or what I'm trying to visualize. Running on a 4S battery, I think that's going to be good. I'm not an engineer, so again, never done this before, but I'm sure it'll fly. I just don't know how good it's going to fly. All right, anyway, let's get on to this piece. I got to start stripping some parts off. Uh, how do I do that? Um, outboard engine. So let's get rid of the. Uh, I built a. Now, again, the cowls um, that you see on here, those are just 3D printed parts that I got for an FTC duck. And I like them a lot. And they happen to fit on here beautifully. So what if I take that off? Basically, I kind of modeled this after the Sea Duck where the modified power pod is going to slide into this cowl and then everything's going to lock into the uh, to the spar behind it. So let me get rid of the nacelle here real quick. Okay. And you can see, I don't know, it's probably clear as mud, but everything kind of lines up. This will go in nice and hopefully effortlessly. And then I've got some holes into the spar so that way I can run my wires basically around in here and out through a hole here in the wing, which I haven't designed in yet. Landing gear. So never done this with a foam plane, so I wasn't sure how uh, in depth I had to get. So here's what I'm thinking. This plate here and this series of plates, which are not uh, exploded. This is going to be eighth inch ply. Of course, these two lines here indicate the spars, which are 3 16 inch foam, the foam board. So what I'm going to do is this is going to be apply plate here and apply plate here. Then two eighth inch pieces here with a hole in the middle. And then if I swing it around underneath, you can see, well, you can kind of see. The wire will go up through a hole that's here and kind of get sandwiched in between the eighth inch ply pieces come around here, I'm going to put some, some landing gear straps here and maybe here. Um, just regular old RC type landing gear straps. And I think, I don't know, we'll see how strong it is. Again, never done anything like this before, but see how it comes out. I'm actually pretty excited about it. I think I'm done designing this fuselage or the, the plane in general. Every time I, uh, really sit down and look at it, I find about five more things that need to be changed. So I'm going to stop doing that and start laying out the foam. I already tried laying out the foam just as a practice, or the parts I should say on foam, just because I was wondering if uh, I didn't want to get too far ahead of myself. 
design the whole plane and find out that I had no clue what I was doing as far as laying out the parts. But there's a couple guys in the forums that have really helped me out with that, so I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so that's about it. Uh, I'm going to close this out and then uh, do a couple more minor tweaks, and then I'm going to start laying out the parts. So yeah, thanks for watching.